All right, Jake Cordero here, SmokingMeatGeeks.com. Thanks for joining us. We got an awesome one for you today. We got wireless probe thermometers here. We rounded up all the devices that we could find that meet our definition for a wireless thermometer. That means that it's got a probe uh, that uses Bluetooth to communicate to your phone. We'll be doing a boiling water test. Uh, we'll be doing like a controlled uh, warm bath uh, in a sous vide bath at about 140. Uh, we'll be cooking uh, some roast. And so we'll be trying them on high temperatures up to like 450 degrees uh, all the way down to like the 140 for the warm bath and see how they do as far as accuracy, communication. We'll talk about the application and uh, report uh, winners and losers uh, at the end here. So uh, make sure that you subscribe, like to help us out, do more of these awesome videos. Um... We've got four in the lineup today. We've got yep. the uh, Tapacu, the Yumly. Uh, the meat stick and the meter. These have got the full features you would expect for a pit thermometer. Uh, you've got a meat probe on one end and a chamber probe on the other. So it's two thermometers in one. Uh, hopefully enough that you can run a cook with just uh, one of these units uh, connected up directly to your phone without a base station. Uh, you tried out the apps, uh, have basically the same features as your full-size uh, wireless thermometers? Uh, all these applications do a great job in just basically getting you cooking right away. Uh, some of them do a better job than others as far as explaining the different permissions that it wants to grant from your phone, like location services, Bluetooth, uh, some of them uh, request for Wi-Fi because they have some cloud ability. Uh, so um, I think the one that did the best job as far as explaining a lot of those permissions and kind of taking you through a step-by-step -step process was the meat stick. Uh, this one really did a good job as far as the graphic user interface and the user experience as the meat did. Uh, Yumly was pretty good. Um, that one just has their main app for Yumly so uh, they, they do a lot of other stuff other than this smart thermometer. So uh, there's a little bit more going on in the app but it basically directs you and guides you where you need to go and you know it takes you right through the the simple process the tapic this one the software isn't the same kind of graphic user interface that you get with these other ones uh, but it's basically straightforward you type in an email address to log in and uh, it lets you right through and it connects right away to the device and then if you want additional stuff as far as like cloud services like saving your cooking sessions and stuff like that you can definitely do that um, by setting that up a step further. But for the most part, I think you'd be okay if you gave this as a gift to somebody that wasn't super savvy with technology. Uh, they could pretty much you know, plug it in and get right, right to cooking. So you got them in our uh, Eye of Round Roast here. Uh, can you just jab them in there like, uh, say, a fireboard probe? Yeah, so a little problem there. Uh, the probes that you're gonna find here are all about the same thickness. Uh, in this group, the only one that was an outlier, again, was that Yumly one that was a little thicker. Uh, but right here I have the Tapic Air AirProbe 2, and this is about the same thickness as the rest in our group. Uh, you can see in some of the close-up shots, it's gonna be thicker than your normal probe thermometers. And the fact that you actually have to insulate the probe on most of these with the meat uh, to keep them from basically burning up in, you know, four, 400 degree temperature. Sure, you, um, could, you could cook off the transmitter if it's not uh, insulated. Yeah, so basically you have to stick them in at least to the halfway point here. Okay. And so what we found is that some of the ones that we liked the best um, had the actual sensor uh, probe for the reading um, right towards the tip of the thermometer versus, you know, kind of halfway back. The only one that we found that had it closer to the end of the tip was the meter, and that was about a fifth of the way, um, you know, up the, down the probe here. Okay, so you don't get the flexibility on how you can insert these like the regular one. What we found is that when some of these in the boiling water test, when we put it in, uh, if it didn't go far enough into the water, uh, you were getting a reading that was not accurate at all. Uh, so that was one of the um, main things that you're going to be looking at that's different in these probes versus uh, your traditional thermometer probes. When it came to the uh, sous vide bath at 140, all of them tested out just fine except for the Yumly. Uh, the Yumly, not so good, uh, off by five degrees. And so that one, um, also in the boiling water test, never came close. So all right, decision time. Uh, we've looked at all of these. They seem to be pretty good. Uh, let's try to find the winner. Uh, I want to start out kind of at the top here at the, with the meter. Uh, this one uh, comes in at uh, $99 for the meter. It's their latest model. 
Uh, you have an option to purchase it either single or there's like a whole block you can get. You can get four probes, that's like $269. Uh, the meat stick coming in at about 99 bucks, so about the same price. Uh, they have an option where you can get like a bridge for Wi-Fi uh, if you want to hook it up and make it basically Wi-Fi. Uh, it comes with two probes, that's like $180. Uh, and then the Tappet Q is uh, $79 and the more probes that you buy, the cheaper they get. So I think you can get four for uh, $299. Uh, the Yumly is going to have to be uh, our disqualified uh, you know, pick out of this whole testing. It never was anywhere close. Um, the meter, uh, you know, discussing that one for the hundred bucks, uh, this one is, is, is our number one pick. Mostly because uh, they have the probe, the sensor in this one is right about a fifth of the way up the probe which is the closest to the tip of any of these as far as the sensors go. So uh, like on the Tappet Q and um, the Yumly, uh, their, their sensor beads are not quite halfway up, but probably right around that, that area there um, is, is where we, we were guessing that they were. The Tappet Q doesn't have any uh, information that we could find as far as where they put that bead, but that's our best guess as to where it's at. Uh, so the meter also because of the fact that it has a great application uh, That's you know, uh, it's also got what they call their estimator uh, Technology so that one basically asks you questions when you go to cook uh, What type of meat are you cooking? Uh, what's your ideal goal temperature and then it estimates the time of completion? Uh, so that's really cool. That's some new technology that I'm super excited to see and I'd like to see it move further I don't know uh, we didn't test it out to see exactly like what that looks like when you're doing like a you know 10 or 12 hour pork butt or, or brisket or something like that um, but we like the idea the meat stick also has something similar to that uh, but the meter one looks like it's a little bit more refined and advanced so again our number one pick is there uh, you can look at about uh, distance on this one uh, as far as wireless distance it's about 10 feet if you're not using the base station but all these base stations except for the tapic you have a repeater in them uh, and actually the Tappet Q may have a repeater, you'll have to check on that. Um, because the Tappet Q itself seemed like it worked at about 125 uh, feet away, uh, while the meter uh, you know, says 165 feet if you have that base station uh, next to the thermometer. So basically if you're out at the grill, you want to leave the base unit uh, next to the grill and the thermometer will be in there and that should be your 165 feet of uh, wireless uh, range. Uh, it also offers an ability for like cloud services. So if you want to hook it up and get your data online as far as you know uh, your cooking sessions charts and stuff you'll set up an account on there and you'll have all that the meat stick that's going to be basically our runner-up pick uh, 100 bucks and then this one says about 260 feet of range uh, we tested it out but I, I don't know that we got 260 feet out of it obviously that's going to change if you're in like a grill versus like a gas grill versus like a ceramic smoker or something like that or even like your oven uh, so that's that's a pretty decent range for anywhere around the house uh, one of the things about the meat stick is they do allow eight probes off of this one repeater. Uh, so if you had more probes, uh, that one looks like it's going to handle uh, the most out of the group uh, for the hundred bucks. Uh, obviously, you'd have to buy you know additional probes. But like I said, they have a model that's like about 180 bucks. It comes with two probes and the bridge for uh, the Wi-Fi that'll hook up to your router or um, you know your home uh, local area network. And the, the meat stick, I love their user interface with your application as far as being able to navigate it, understand like where you need to be as far as your cooking session, uh, communicates to you, you know, really well as far as alerts and those kinds of things. Um, it also has an option for uh, notifying you if your phone is on silent it'll let you know hey we're not going to be able to get that alert to you uh, and back to the meter real quick uh, they actually have an option on there that will uh, you know you can set it up to different priorities as to when you want it to alert you if your phone's on silent or let's say do not disturb uh, so that's pretty cool uh, so that's a that's a little bit more of an advanced feature uh, again the yumly that's not something that we really need to discuss uh, I, I wouldn't uh, unless Maybe perhaps we got a bad one, I don't know, but other than, other than that, um, I, I, we didn't really evaluate the application too much, uh, although it does look like it's been built pretty well. Uh, as far as the Tappet goes, Tappet 79 bucks. Tappet is Instapot 
friendly. The Tappa Q is the only one that'll do that, but then there's still a bunch of limitations as far as like how you have to have the probe in there, um, how hot the other, other end of the probe can get, how far in the meat it goes. Uh, so that's the one thing with this technology that I think is going to be a question mark is how long can you actually count on these devices uh, to function the way that they're supposed to. Uh, but the idea of just being able to take the unit and put a mag that's got they've got magnets on them so you can just kind of stick it to the back of the refrigerator. Uh, as soon as you put it on the docking station here, uh, it already starts to charge. Uh, so if, it, if it's dead, it'll, it'll charge on, most of these run on AA batteries. Uh, none of them run off of any kind of uh, USB charger or anything like that. Uh, so the idea is, yes, you can have it, you know, just sitting around ready to go, no wires, none of that stuff. Uh, but again, just a question of like, how durable are they? All right, so uh, looks like we got a nice style of new thermometer uh, that can supplement or maybe be a gift to somebody you're trying to get into the smoking meat game. Uh, so for Smoking Meat Geeks, uh, I'm Nathan, this is Jacob. Uh, like and subscribe. And we're going to dig into this great looking roast beef here. Indeed.